What's up everybody? It's Rob. It's Friday and as usual I'm speeding on home. Well not speeding. I'm driving the speed limit for any police officers watching out there and it's been a pretty hectic couple weeks. I missed last Friday. I apologize for that. Um, to be honest just some days getting out of work just not in the mood to talk it's just rough day at work just drive in silence or listen to some 80s tunes to get into a good mood but anyway I apologize for missing last Friday uh, nothing really new to report ah, except first off Stranger Things season 4 teaser trailer dude not to give anything away uh, for those who haven't seen it yet, but that really filled my heart with happiness and some anxiety I had over the new season um, just melted away quickly. And you'll know what I mean. I don't mean anxiety over where the show's going or the production of it or anything like that, but you'll know what I mean. Um, speaking of Netflix, I caught 99.8% of Lock and Key. I still need to finish up the last episode, like the last 15 minutes or, of it or whatever, but really solid show. Um, I've only read the first collection of the graphic novel, and so I don't really know where things go from that point, but I thought it was a pretty good adaption. There's some things changed, but Joe Hill himself uh, had some of the screenwriting duty on the series, so you can't fault that. So he's overseeing it, and I guess what he says goes. And for a lot of comic book people with adaptions, the ones that actually help, they see it as a chance to fix little things, to experiment with new thoughts, and I always see stuff like that in most comic book movies and TV shows as like, as DC would call it, an Elseworlds version. I mean, if it's not a 100% faithful adaptation, you kind of just have to see it that way of uh, an alternate reality version of a comic book property makes watching a little bit easier in a lot of cases uh, before that I saw October Faction which is also based on a comic that I'm not familiar with at all but that was a pretty enjoyable show uh, curious if they do a second season and how that goes but it was a decent watch. Um, I watched it pretty quickly. I just wanted to see what would happen from episode to episode. And I found it kind of odd that they would have Lock and Key and October Faction released like a week apart because they are kind of similar in some aspects because you're dealing with a family with paranormal things going on and teenage characters in the midst of it. So I found that odd that Netflix would release those two shows so close to each other because they're very similar in those uh, aspects. Um, other than that, I am, of course, planning on filming tonight. I'm kind of in a weird place with ideas for tonight so we'll see what happens and also uh, all this week my son was sick and now my daughter is sick so we'll see how filming goes this weekend because if she needs me that's where I'll be um, so filming of course is always the second job uh, the first job is my family so, uh, speaking of the channel, I just want to say it's been a pretty great couple weeks. Um, 
a lot of new people leaving comments, which is always awesome. I love uh, getting comments and I love talking back to everybody and you know, it's just it's just a neat aspect of the whole YouTube thing. Um, so I love having interactions with people as long as they're positive. I've gotten some not very positive ones and they're just kind of mean-spirited and trolly, I guess. Um, but all in all, there's a great bunch of people out there watching what I'm doing and that really makes me feel good. And so I have to say thanks to everybody for that. Thanks for being part of the community. I mean, sorry this is shaky. So, sorry for shakiness and thank you for always uh, supporting and watching and commenting and liking and all that stuff. You know, it just, it's a, it's a hobby of mine to do this. I mean, I love doing it, but it's really a cool, cool thing to hear what everyone else is thinking out there and them chime in with their childhood stories or what toys were their favorites or TV shows were their favorites. So, that always makes me feel good. So, thank you very much. Um, again, not really that much is going on. Just those few Netflix things. Like I said, got a house of sickness, so we'll see how everything goes. My son's feeling better, but I mean, it's just been kind of a long road. And nothing other than, you know, just uh, like a fever and just tired and, you know, just being a sweet little dude like he is, but just not feeling the best. So we'll see how it affects my daughter. Hopefully, you know, hopefully she takes it in stride like he did. Um, so anyway, that's just been my life. Going to work every day, coming home with the family. So, sorry. Not a very exciting life, but it's the life I lead and I love it. But, again, thank you everybody for your support. Even these silly little videos. It's a huge nest up there. We have bald eagles in this area. I wonder if that was a bald eagle nest. That's the one thing I, I hate winter and I hate all the leaves off of the trees but that's a cool bonus when you can see things you wouldn't see otherwise like a huge nest anyway I'm gonna leave everybody there um, everybody I hope you have a great Friday um, have a great weekend it's Valentine's Day so you know have some fun with the ones you love eat some chocolate all that good stuff but until next time, keep being rad and stay dorky.